Dear Susie, make yourself comfortable and let me introduce you a perfect winter fairy tale. Hot chocolate by the fireplace, the best ski slopes, and magnificent scenery. Um, Sammy, I can't ski. And I don't want to go into the cold. Brr. Well then, how do you like the idea of going to a peaceful resort for meditation practices? Namaste. Yeah, we'll give up everything distractive like the internet and look for the inner harmony. Whoa, wait, that's kind of too extreme. Uh, maybe I'll just go by the ocean and sunbathe on the beach. Sammy, we don't have time to lie under the palm trees right now. We have a lot of work. But I need new landscapes for inspiration! <laughs> well, then we don't have to go that far to do that. Huh? Really? Na -na -na, na -na -na -na. Here we go. And done! <laughs> <sighs> Hi, guys. Today Susie tricked me into painting again. I didn't trick you, Sammy. You wanted a picturesque landscape for your inspiration, and I'm gonna give you one in about 10 minutes. How cool is that? Uh, no offense, but so far I see nothing cool about your painting. Anyway, here are all the colors you asked for. Should I get a palette? Not this time, Sammy. We're going to mix and blend the paints right on the canvas. Oh, I almost forgot to explain you about the masking tape, guys. It'll help you to make a perfect horizon line on your landscape. And it also will make everything look neat! Just make a few blobs like this. It's kind of a preparation stage. <laughs> For me, Susie, let me add just a little bit of blue right here. Oh, yeah. I think it already looks great. <laughs> Not so fast, huh? mister. I need Ow. this as well. Here we go. Great. Now, guys, we'll just simply take a paintbrush soaked in water and do this. <laughs> so now you're just gonna spread the paint in whatever manner you like? <laughs> Not exactly. We still need to be accurate here. Like, if this is gonna be the sky, we should blend the colors making horizontal strokes. <laughs> That's not a hard task for a great painter. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done, Susan. <laughs> Watch me. Guys, while the great master is working back there, take a second to hit the subscribe button. We there are plenty of painting tutorials on this great channel. I'm done with the painting, by the way. <laughs> Wow! You've even added a few vertical strokes to make this look like water! Let's turn to the trees now. With a smaller brush, we'll start smudging our beautiful paint blobs. Here we go. Simple and fun. <laughs> I don't get it! We won't be able to see the tree trunks this way! Oh, Sammy. Would you stop doubting me already? Don't you trust me? Oh, Susie, don't be mad! I just can't wait to see the result! It's okay. Now we'll smudge the next color this way so that it overlaps the previous one. Uh, here, so you won't be mad at me. Thank you, Sammy, but what is it? It's a speed up candy, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sammy. But wait, I think I already feel something. Whoa! Oh my, hail Tibi Daba, that speed up effect doesn't last too long. Guys, I'm gonna get another paintbrush. Don't go anywhere. Oh, what's taking her so long? We shouldn't let this drop. Tickle. <laughs> Susie, stop that it tickles. For our next step, we're gonna use this fan brush to add some more colors and shades. Today, we're gonna use all of the paintbrushes we have. You don't say, Sammy. <laughs> And, like a true detective, I'm gonna go find your next artistic tool, Miss Susan! Ha-ha! <laughs> uh -huh. uh, whoa! Whoopsie! <laughs> Sorry, folks! Today's not your day! Uh-huh! Oh, that playful little slime! Sammy, did you find something? This thing found me! It fell from the top shelf and hit me right on my head! Oh, you poor thing! But actually, this is exactly what I need! 
Try not to apply too much paint on the spatula, guys, and work in smooth movements. This is outrageous, huh? Susan! You didn't even feel sorry for me! What are you saying? Of course I feel sorry for you. How could I not? Hmm. I've got an idea. Do you want to paint a bit? We can easily arrange that, you know. What do you say, huh? Do I want to paint? Oh boy, need you ask? Here. Oh, thanks. Tap, 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 tap. As my granny used to say, small steps can lead to big changes. Wow, that's wise. By the way, I've never met your granny. What is she like? Well, she thinks she's an expert at practically everything. And she likes to cook and reprimand me all the time. <laughs> so basically, she and you have a lot in common. <laughs> hey, I'm not like that. I'm just kidding, Sue. <laughs> Well, Sammy, what do you say? Does this seem to be inspiring? Mm, that landscape still doesn't look real to me, you know. That's because we are not done yet. This time we'll use a bigger spatula and some black paint. Whoosh! And that's how it's done, guys! <laughs> <laughs> time for my favorite part, right? Yep. Are you ready? Let's do it. Oh, yeah, that crunchy sound. Give a thumbs up if you liked it too, guys. Oh, believe me, you're gonna hear that sound many times today. Guys, for the next step, we kind of need to mirror the colors of our trees right here. You don't have to be precise, because we're trying to create the water jittering effect. In the meantime, take a second to subscribe to our channel, people! And closer to the horizon line, your strokes should go this way. Do you get it, Sammy? Yeah, yeah. Wait, I have one question. Hmm? Why don't you paint closer to the trees? Oh, this is gonna be one more trick for you to write down. Hop, gotcha! Now that the top part of our picture has dried out, we need to protect it with the masking tape. And then proceed. I know that art can be messy, but I prefer painting this way. Oh, shiver me chatter, Susie, you have so many insights to share! <gasps> One. Oh, Sammy, don't you know that patience is a virtue? Trust me, you're gonna love it! Now I want you to set your inner artist free! Here, take this! <laughs> that I can do! Uh-huh! Easy peasy! <laughs> you're a natural, my friend! We won't need this anymore! Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. How about I let you do the finishing touch? Oh, that sounds cool. In the meantime, I'm gonna set my inner artist free. <laughs> Watch closely, everyone. Check this out, guys. We're kinda layering the paint, adding volume to the picture. Oh, Susie, how much longer? I'm about to fall asleep. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sammy, I just need to add a few teeny tiny details. Here we go. By the way, if you're gonna sleep, then who's gonna pull up the rest of the masking tape? I'm here! I'm awake! Just say when! <laughs> <laughs> We're almost there, Sammy. Give me five more seconds. Three, two, one. Yippee! It's slime time! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Guys, let's check out our landscape in all its glory! Well, Sammy, was this landscape worth waiting for? Oh, yeah. It gave me so many ideas for our future craft. Oh. We shouldn't waste time, Susie. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. 
Did you like our painting today, guys? Then give us a thumbs up! We're all enough of that chit-chat already! We should draw a winter landscape for the TV! <laughs> Don't forget to tell your friends about this channel and subscribe! Bye-bye! <laughs>
Oh, it was great to see Maddie, wasn't it? And so kind of her to call me. Her... Oh. What's that noise? It, it, it sounds like snoring. Who could that be? Her... I know who it is. It's the shapes. They must be asleep upstairs. Yes, look, it's the shapes. Circle, triangle, square and rectangle. All snoring away. With the shapes still asleep, it means no shape dance today and no singing to I am a shape. <laughs> it's a real shame, but I suppose the only way we could do those things is if I put on shape costumes and did the dance myself. <laughs> but I can't do that. <laughs> Can I? One, two, one, two, three, four. I am the shape. A circle. Now make your very own circle using simple materials. First find a circle shaped paper plate. This one's already pink. Then ask a grown up to help you find some clean plastic items that you can safely reuse. These large container tops will make great feet. Paint them any colour you like. When the paint is dry, stick your paper plate onto the feet using sticky tape or glue. Then add a big smile. I made this one from fun foam, but you could draw it on with a pen. Stick on the eyes using googly eyes or round stickers. And your circle's finished and ready to dance. I am a circle. Ah, oh, thank you for coming to visit me at home today. We've had a great time. We caught up with our friend, Marvelous Maddie. We made a cool cat. I made a circle and I got into shape. Keep watching CBBS for more arty ideas. Keep making things and take care. I'll see you soon. Quick portraits, portraits for everyone. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> hey guys, want a portrait? Well, what do you say, kids? <laughs> ah, that'll be my pleasure. I've never drawn such a pretty dog family. Get yourselves comfortable and we'll get started. Uh-huh. Hmm. Let me see. Sit still. Very well. Hey, why it's gotten so dark and wet all of a sudden? Oh no, my masterpiece! <gasps> I'm blowing away! Huh? What is this? Sammy, is this your drawing? No, Sue, it's my masterpiece. That horrible wind must have ruined it. See? Now all the colors are gone. Can you help me finish this portrait? Pretty please? You didn't need to ask. <laughs> But let me make a tiny amendment first. That's much better. Now, let's get to it. We are going to start with the outline for all the members of Bluey's family should be seen clearly. Oh, by the way, friends, do you know who is Bluey? It's this little six-year-old healer puppy. She has mom and dad and her little sister, Bingo. They are all in this picture. You might have seen the animated series about Bluey and her adventures. It's pretty much exciting. And there are a lot of dogs of different breeds. It is very curious to watch them. Okay, we can see Bluey now. Say hi to her friends. And we're moving on. This is Bluey's mom. Her name is Chili, and she's a healer dog too. By the way, she works part-time at airport security. Doesn't that sound fascinating? But if Bluey is kind of blue in color, hence the name, Chili is reddish. Here we go. Just a few more lines and you all can see Chili properly. She wasn't in the park today, and she didn't pose while Sammy was sketching this family portrait. But we know her so well that we decided to just add her. Here comes the tail. There we go. Now, three, two, one, and done. And this big guy is Bluey's dad, Bandit. Bluey definitely takes after him. Bandit loves playing with his daughters. Do you like it when your parents play with you? 
Bandit works as an archaeologist. This must be the most adventurous and romantic job in the world. Don't you think so? I would love to join the team of archaeologists sometime. They know so much about history and move around the world digging up some cool ancient stuff. That must be really interesting and exciting. Oh, come on! Why waste time on something old if you can spend it on creating something new? <laughs> oh, Sammy! Now, I will draw some clouds in the sky. It is always better to fill the whole space on your paper sheet when you're drawing something. While there will be clouds in the sky, there will be a few pretty flowers on the ground. Just a few more zigzags to draw the grass and we will move on. Ha! I nearly forgot about the horizon. Here it goes. Well, what do you say, Sammy? Is this what you had in mind? Of course I will add some colors to the portrait if you bring me the paints. Actually, I think markers will do better, Susie. Here, take these. Okay, thanks. Let's start with the blue color. When you're drawing something as serious as a family portrait, you better stay inside the lines, right? I am going to use some of this dark blue over here, too. And on the tip of Bluey's tail, like this. And her pretty ears should be orange. This way, they will really stand out. As well as her little cunning muzzle. <laughs> oh, I love dogs. And what about you, friends? Do you prefer dogs or cats or both? Here goes another shade of blue. A lighter one. I love this color. It reminds me of the sky and of the sea and of my favorite berry, blueberry. Bingo next. We still haven't said a word about her. Oh, you are right, Sammy. My bad. So Bingo is Bluey's little sister. I think she's a four-year-old. And unlike Bluey, Bingo is a red healer, just like their mom. So I'm coloring her orange. Actually, Bluey and Bingo are very much alike. They like to play different games together. Here goes the lighter shade of orange. Mmm, I like how orange and blue go together. Do you like it, friends? I'm using a little bit of black again for Bingo's eyes and nose and mouth. But it's important not to use too much of it. And here is the red tongue. Whew. The half of the family is colored now, and we're moving on to the parents. Mom should go first. She looks very much like Bingo. Or is it vice versa? <laughs> Ooh. This part over here is rather tricky, too. There's so many lines and different spots. And I'd better be careful not to color Bluey's hand right here. I will use the brown color to define Chili's ears. That's the mom's name, remember?
This ear should be brown too. Here it goes. While the rest of Chili's fur is going to be of this shade of orange. Oh my, I'm working really fast here. <laughs> By the way, friends, if you like our episodes where we draw and color a lot, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There is a whole bunch of them waiting for you there. Oh, and give this one a thumbs up, please. We'd really appreciate this. And last but not least, Bandit Bluey and Bingo's dad. I will color him really fast. Watch me. Careful, Sue. Don't color little Bingo with this deep blue color. Uh-huh. And a bit lighter shade of blue will be perfect for the very tip of the tail. Very well. Here goes the option of the blue color number three. Now, do you see how Bluey and her dad look like each other? It's remarkable. All right, folks. We can start counting down now. Go with me. Three, two, one. And the colorful healer family is finally done. <laughs> well, almost. Let me just add a few tiny details to give Bandit's fur a more natural look, so to speak. Great. I love how these four doggies turned out. But, of course, we can't give them their portrait without finishing the background. Don't worry, friends. I will do that in no time. And I'm almost done coloring the green grass here, which means I can move on to another color. Pink. Yeah, yeah. Don't be surprised. You know how Sammy and I love pink. I will use different shades of pink, going upward from the lighter to the darker one. Give me a minute and you'll see how beautifully the sky will turn out this way. Yep, it's going to be nearly purple right here from the very top. Let's repeat the same from this side as well. Smooth transitions are very important when you color things this way. Well, what did I say? Doesn't it look great? Who said there can't be a pink sky, right? <laughs> All that's left for us to do is to brighten up little flowers. This one is going to be yellow. A few more touches to the grass to make it look less flat. We can't leave the clouds just plain white, can we? Here it goes. Hey, I suddenly got an idea. Why don't we spruce things up a little bit and add something extra sparkly to this portrait, huh? Yes, you heard me right. We need glitter, just for a few parts of our picture. And we're done. Sammy, you can finally present this to the healers. Wow! Susie, you're the best artist I know. I couldn't have done it better myself! beautiful beach in Australia. Oh, I love it at the beach. We've got the sea, we've got the sun, and of course, we've got my footprints in the sand. <coughs> Wait a minute. That's just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Have fun with your feet and try making a fantastic footprint animal picture.
Let's make it! <laughs> now we're going to need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. <laughs> Hello, mini makers. Now who's going to help me today? Hello, Mr. Maker. I'm Jaden. Oh, hello, Jaden. I can help you. Oh, that's fantastic news. Everyone else, thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Oh, brilliant. Jaden is on his way to help us make our picture. But first, we need somewhere to make it. <laughs> Wonderful! The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we just need some arty things to make our footprint animal picture. We'll need a tray, some paper or card, some paint, a glue stick, some scissors and a pen, and my travel can of stinky feet spray. Huh? My travel can of stinky feet spray? We don't need this. We just... Scraps! How did you get here? Oh, I see. Look, we don't need this can of stinky feet spray at the moment, but we do need some stickers. Oh, good. Off you go. <laughs> Oh, here we are, some stickers. Thank you very much, Scrap. We've got some stickers. There we are. We've got everything we need, except it does feel like there's something missing. Hmm. Do you know what it is? I'm here, Mr Maker. Jaden, of course. Thank you very much for coming. You're just in time to help us make this footprint animal picture. Look. It's a mummy kangaroo with her baby in her pouch. Are you ready, Jaden? Yeah, sure. Good. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's make it. Now, the first thing we're going to do is draw a kangaroo. Jaden, can you pass me that orange card there, please? That's it. Now, drawing a kangaroo is easier than you think. Let's start off by drawing a big teardrop shape for the body. Then, do a smaller one for the head, a longer one for the tail, and two small ones for the ears. Now, we mustn't forget the kangaroo's pouch. That looks a little bit like a smiley mouth. Now, Jaden, what do you normally see in a kangaroo's pouch? A joey. A joey, that's right. That's a baby kangaroo. So, Jaden, why don't you use that brown card and draw the baby kangaroo. Now, Jaden, you're going to draw a small baby-sized teardrop for the head, two tiny teardrop ears, and two paws. Good job, Jaden. And when you've drawn all of your kangaroo pieces, you need to cut them out. But be careful, because scissors are... Sharp. That's right. <laughs> There, we've got all of our cut-out pieces of our kangaroo and our joey. And now, Jaden, we're ready to arrange them on our background. And when you're happy with your picture, we can glue everything down. But now we're going to add eyes, noses and mouths using stickers and a black pen. That's her nose. It's just like your nose. Like my nose. <laughs> and here are the eyes. It's looking good, Jaden, but something's missing. What is it? Feet. Feet, that's right. Walk this way. <laughs> now, this can get a little bit messy, so you'll see that Jaden is wearing an apron. We've put down some old paper, and our paint is in a tray. Now, if you're going to make this at home, make sure you get an adult to help you. But today, Jaden, I'm going to help you. High five. Excellent work. Now, very carefully, Jaden, step into the tray of paint. One foot at a time. That's it. And another foot. Good boy. And then one foot at a time, 
step onto the pitcher. Oh, well done. And that's it. And then your other foot. That's brilliant. And now step back into the tray. Good boy. Excellent work. What a great picture. And if you enjoyed that, why not try these other ideas too? How about a seal with footprint flippers? <laughs> or you could try a scorpion with footprint pincers and a footprint sting. Or you could even try making a pair of terrific toucans with multicoloured footprints for beaks. Animal footprint pictures are great fun. Why don't you try one today? Now, Jaden, we've cleaned your feet up and all that remains is for me to say a big thank you for helping me, Jaden. We made it! What a fabulous way to use your feet. Well done, Jaden. Bye. <laughs> it's wonderful travelling the world. It's so much to see. Oh, look, that's Sydney's famous opera house. <laughs> it, oh, what? What's that noise coming from the marvellous maker case? Can you hear that? <laughs> it's the shapes! They're off on their journey around the world. I am a shape. I am a circle. What are the circles making today? Can you guess? What could it be? It's a sheep! Well done, shapes! It's time to get back in the marvellous maker case! <laughs> Yes, why? You see, I wanted to draw too. Okay, grab a brush and join me. That's the point! I can't find the brushes! Do you know where they are? I searched everywhere! Holy cannoli! Hmm, actually, I have an idea! Come with me! Hi guys! Today we're gonna make a very unusual painting! The result will surprise you! Susan, are you sure we need such a big canvas? Don't worry, Sammy. Everything is thought through. Go, I need space. Ugh, well, you would know. Ugh, but I bet you need this. Thanks. Your help is always right on time. And the main thing in every painting are paints. Er, I need this too. And this. I really like to draw with acrylic paint. Yes, they're so bright. You said we won't need brushes, so I bought some Q-tips. I like it. You're right. It's possible to draw with Q-tips. Have you seen the video on our channel, guys? I strongly recommend you watching it. Trust me, you won't regret this. So, Sue, are we going to use them or not? This time, we won't need Q-tips either. Sue, if it's not a sponge, I don't know what to bring. Think more, Sammy. Uh... Is it a painter's brush, then? Nope, I'll be drawing with my own fingers! The cool thing about paint is that you can mix any color you want using only red, yellow, and blue! Susan, what about protection? I'm guessing there will be paints everywhere! Guys, if you're not sure your hands are firm enough, you should put on an apron! But you're gonna be careful, right, Sue? The real masters don't need protection! 
Let's get started! We can even take two portions in one movement. Minimum ingredients and maximum result. Right, Sue? Correct. <laughs> but what if you need to change the color? What should you do? As always, you just need to change the brush. <laughs> Let's draw a face. It's very easy. Considering the colors, I can conclude it's a scarlet macaw! Wow, Sammy! How did you know? I'm really impressed! I'm full of surprises, Sue! You may not know this, but I'm an experienced bird watcher! <laughs> Where did you get so much time for all of your hobbies? I'm able to look at two different things simultaneously! Like a scarlet macaw can! Wow, I could use this skill! When I need to do my homework but I want to watch a movie! Guys, stay tuned! If you want to know what's next! So it's my napkin! Sam calling Sue over! Guys, I need your answer! Do you copy? Oh, I got carried away. Sorry. Oh, guys, would you look at how beautifully these two colors are mixing together? A quick life hack for you guys. If your paint is too thick, you can dilute it with water. But if it's too runny, you can mix it with talcum. And talcum. Okay, I got it! I need to write that down. Sammy, maybe you want to try this too? But you're doing so great there! Guys, just look at those precise movements! If we mix blue and white colors, we'll get light blue. This will add some volume and brightness. Sue, how do you like my new image? I probably should look the part. You want to make life brighter as I see. It seems like I'm petting a canvas as if it's a hamster. <laughs> yeah, Coffee's worried that we could bring a parrot like this one home. I guess you need this. Thanks! You always take care of me. What would I do without you? I just don't want our painting to look dirty, Sue! Oh, really? <laughs> Sue, stop! Jokes aside, we need to finish this craft! Okay, why don't we add some dark hues at the sides like this? Well, Sammy, it's just clay. You can try that. Shiver me chatters! How do they actually eat this? Sammy, what are you saying? Clay is inedible! But I read that scarlet macaws eat clay! Ugh! Yes, to neutralize plant poisons, they have special ferments for it! Thank Dibbadaba I'm not a scarlet macaw then! <laughs> Guys, we're at the finish line! We'll see the result very soon! All we have left is to draw the bird's body and tail! The technique is absolutely the same. We take some paint and make strokes. Make room for me! I'm checking out the place! Sammy, go away! You don't understand! I heard that you need to buy a really big cage for a scarlet macaw! Sammy, no. We've already discussed it. We're not gonna buy a scarlet macaw! But it's so cute! Pretty please! Sue, let's have one! I'll draw our parrot a tail and it's not gonna be so sad not having him at home. You're right. We already have so many pets. I don't want them to get jealous. Phew! That was close! <laughs> Sue! Did you know that there are so many macaw species and they are all so bright? Great green, blue and yellow, blue-throated… I want to draw them all! I think Sammy's really enjoying making parrot crafts. Don't worry, Sammy. Now you have the technique, so you can draw whatever macaw you want. Guys, by the way, you don't need to copy me. You can choose your favorite colors for this craft. There are so many beautiful birds in the world that we need to make a schedule. Let's see. Well, we can draw a colibri on this day. Here we'll draw a swan. 
And this day, maybe a sparrow. Oh, wait. No, let it be a mandarin duck. Oh, Sammy and his vivid imagination. Oh, Sue, how's it going with the painting? We're almost done. I bet the guys can't wait to see the result. I think red will look great on the tail. If you agree, give us a thumbs up, guys. Painting with your fingers is a great way to spend time with your friends and parents. Sue, can you sew me a hat? I need it. Is it a dress-up day today? I'm just trying to find a proper outfit for a Parisian exhibition. What? An exhibition in Paris? When is it gonna be? We've gotta draw a lot of paintings then. Then you take care of the drawings and I'll choose the outfit. In the meantime, we're making the last touches. Here we go! Woohoo! Guys, it's finally ready! I'm so happy! I totally love this drawing! Wow, that's really something! Guys, do you want to see our beautiful craft in all its glory? Then follow me! Well, Sammy, is this okay or not? Let me see. Hmm, no, I think you should move it a bit to the left. Or not, I don't know. Let's choose another spot. <sighs> okay. How is it now? Interesting. Looks good, but let's move it to another place, please. And now? Sammy, my hands are already tired. Let's see. Hmm, ah, it's great. This is the best spot of all. Finally! I thought we'd never hang it! <laughs> yeah! Our picture is so cool! I could look at this parrot all day long! I can understand that, Sammy! It came out really great! Guys, if you want to see more painting videos, give us a thumbs up! Party. We're in the party pile! It's the perfect place for a party! So, let's get party! It's the Mini Makers! Hello, Mini Makers! Now, my friends, are you feeling arty? Yeah! Then let's party! Going to have a party, and look who I've invited. The shakes and scraps. He's so excited. All the mini makers are partying too. But most importantly, we invite you. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's get party. Everybody party. to see you, my friend. <laughs> now, what shall we make our party about today? Um, mm, you ever think about it? Have you got any ideas? Over you come, Mini Makers. Come on, my friends. That's it. 
Have a look at the screen. Now we're going to show you some clues. See if you can guess what our party is going to be about today. Yeah. What can you see? Sunglasses. Some sunglasses. What's that? What colour is the bike? Blue! <laughs> and I'll give you one last clue, Mini Makers. <laughs> What's this, everyone? A blue pencil! That's right, it's a blue pencil, and we might need that later because today our party's gonna be a blue party! Yeah! <laughs> oh, scraps, are you not getting dressed up today? <laughs> Wow, what beautiful blue blooms. Scraps, you look very pretty. <laughs> Yay! So, everyone, let's think brilliant blue thoughts and make an arty party picture. What should we use today? Paper. We could use paper. Shapes. Very good, Mohammed. How are we going to make the paper into shapes? Tear it. We could tear it, very good. How are we going to stick all of these paper pieces onto our picture? Blue! Blue! Now, my friends, what sort of things do you know that are blue? Sky! The sky? And what else is blue? The sea! Fantastic, Mini Makers, some wonderful ideas there. In fact, you've just given me a brilliant idea. Let's get Artie at our party and set sail on the waves to make your own paper boat sailing on a torn paper blue sea. But first, we'll need some things from... The Kingdom That's right! We'll need some scraps of blue wrapping paper. Coloured card paper and a glue stick. A pair of blue suede shoes. No doodle tube. We don't need these, although they would go nicely with my outfit. No. And we'll also need some scissors, a lolly stick and a pen. All right then, Mini Makers, let's get started. Now, first thing to do is to bring in some background paper or card. And, of course, this is a blue party, so what colour should it be? Blue! That's right, it's blue. First, we're going to make a nice blue sea by tearing this blue patterned paper into a wavy shape. You don't have to be neat with this, Mini Makers. There, we've got one wavy shape, and you can make as many as you like. We've got lots and lots of them here, with all different types of blue patterned paper. Let's start sticking them down to make the sea. And you can even add a fluffy white cloud using torn white paper. We've got a beautiful blue sky a wavy blue sea, and now we need something to sail in the sea. What should we make? A boat! That's right, a boat! So, let's take some yellow card and start drawing a boat. And now I'm going to cut this out, but I must be careful because scissors are... Sharp! That's right! Ah, lovely. There. Now we can stick our boat into the wavy sea. Next, we're going to stick down some other paper shapes and a clean lolly stick to finish off our boat. Two paper sails and a paper flag. There. A flag fluttering on our boat on a beautiful blue sea. Do you like it? Yeah! 
Well, I'm glad you like this picture because now it's your turn to make your very own arty party picture. But first, you need to put on your... Arty apron! <laughs> it's time to start! Now, Christiana has made a wonderful wavy sea picture, but what's this here in the sea? It's a whale. I've drawn the fins on the tail and then water sprouting out from the top. There's water spouting out of the top. It's having a whale of a time. Well done, Christiana. You keep making, because I wonder, has anyone ever had any arty blue ideas? Let's find out. In ancient times, there was one colour that was impossible to make. And that was the colour blue. How am I ever going to make the colour of the sky if we can't make the colour blue? Then one day, someone came up with a brilliant idea. <gasps> That's it! Woad! It was discovered that woad, which is an ancient plant related to cauliflower, could be used to dye material the colour blue. Unfortunately, it was a very stinky process. It was so stinky that Queen Elizabeth I banned it from being made near her palace. Not in my backyard! The reason it smelled so bad is because once they were picked, the woad leaves were often covered in human urine, or wee, which made the woad turn blue. Seriously? Don't ask me how I discovered that. The material was then soaked in the stinky mixture and then taken out and left in the fresh air to dry. I don't know about a plant. More like a weed. <laughs> <laughs> now, the good news is that blue dye hasn't been made like that for years. So the next time you get cauliflower for dinner, don't go getting any funny ideas. <laughs> now let's see how the mini makers are getting on. <laughs> Charlotte, I love your picture. What have you put in it? Well, this is a sun. And is this a dolphin? Yeah, it's a sparkly dolphin. And I did some water drops. So it looks like it's jumped out the water. It looks brilliant. Well done, Charlotte. What a great picture. <laughs> Teddy has made a brilliant blue sea with a boat, but also some other things as well. What have we got here, Teddy? I've got a big shark and I've got a jellyfish floating up the top. And I've also got a bright sun. And I like the bright sun because the rays have been made with small pieces of straws. Teddy, you get a high five. <laughs> a Hood has gone under the sea for his shiny picture. And what's this, my friend? It's the submarine. What's that in the corner? It's the octopus tangled up in the seaweed. Oh, no, he's all tangled up. Well, it looks brilliant and... <laughs> I can hear snoring. It sounds like someone's asleep at our party. Who is it, Mini Makers? The Shapes! That's right, it's The Shapes. And I think we should wake them up. So after three, ready? One, two, three! Let's all dance with the shapes! I am a circle. Spin around, spin around in a circle on the ground. I am a triangle. Clap your hands in the air. Triangles everywhere. I am a square. 
Everybody draw a square. Draw it here, draw it there. Everybody draw a square. I am a rectangle. Bounce, everybody. Bounce like you just don't care. Bounce, everybody. What's it going to be? Wait and we will see. A shape for you and me. I am a circle. Yay! What picture is circle making? you guess? That's right, it's a dolphin. That was fantastic, Circle. It's time to get back on the shelf. To make a button bluebird pencil topper like this, take an old blue button and tape feathers onto the back of it. Tape a pipe cleaner to the back of the button. Now turn the button over and use stickers or paper shapes for eyes and a beak. Then wind the pipe cleaner around a pencil like this. And your button bluebird pencil topper is finished and ready to use. Well done, Scraps. What a terrific idea. And you can make any sort of blue button pencil topper you like. <laughs> Megan, what did you make using blue buttons? I made a helicopter. A helicopter, and it looks really, really good. And what's on top of the helicopter? Pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners. Mohammed, what have you made using a blue button? I made a bunny. He's got like really big ears so we can hear really properly. What a brilliant blue bunny with big ears, just like me. Leon, I love your octopus. How did you make all of the legs? By pipe cleaners. Ah, what a great idea. And what's your octopus's name? Craig. Craig! Craig the octopus. Well, he looks brilliant. And how many legs has your octopus got? Eight. Of course, eight! That's right. Well done, Mini Makers. Some great button creations. And now, follow me. This way! Come on, everyone! <laughs> That's it. Over here, you are about to make a brilliant party picture. Have a look at the screen and see if you can guess what it is. What picture are today's Mini Makers making? <laughs> Any ideas? <laughs> what do you think it could be? That's right, you made a picture of a brilliant teapot. Well done, Mini Makers. Oh, you know what that noise means? It's time for... A party party party. So it's over to Party Cam to find out which Mini Makers are playing today. Off you go. It's Billy! <laughs> Who's next? Let's find out. <laughs> it's Holly! Yeah! And last but not least, off you go. <laughs> it's Liam! Yeah! Well done, my friends. You've been chosen for a very special arty challenge. Yeah! Mini Makers, it's time for a deep sea adventure. We are going whale spotting, and you've got to find a whale swimming in the deep blue sea like this one here. And you're going to look for the whale on this big piece of paper. 
Mini makers, you're going to use all of this blue paint, your special brushes and your arty party suits. Now, Millie, Holly and Liam, do you think you can do it? Yeah! I think so too, but you've got to be quick. You must find your whale before Scraps makes this noise. <laughs> Ooh, ready, steady, <laughs> go! Off you go, Mini Makers. That's it, get lots of paint on those brushes. I'm starting to see something. Millie, you found an eye. I can see a tail over there. You're doing very well. Let's fill in all these gaps. Do you think they're going to do it, Mini Makers? Oh, thank you, Scraps. Time's up. Put your brushes down. Well done, Mini Makers. Yay! Let's have a look at your picture. Wow, what a wonderful whale in a big blue sea. Well done, Mini Makers. But now it's time to tidy up. You get started and I'll come and help you in a minute. We've had a great arty party today. <laughs> We've had lots of brilliant fun at our party, making torn paper pictures and blue button pencil toppers. We've learned how a plant was once used to make the colour blue. And we went whale spotting in the deep blue sea. We've been arty at our arty party. Our party's over, but your arty fun is just beginning. It's time to put the party pad back in its box. See you soon. Bye!